all sin is not equal. I'm going to prove to you from the Word of God that sin is not all equal. There are varying degrees of sin, and certain sins are worse than the other. I'm going to prove that to you. And I'm going to prove to you that there are different levels of damnation, too. People can have a greater damnation. I'm going to prove that to you. Uh, so let's go to the Word of God. If you have a Bible, actually turn in your Bibles. Don't just listen to me. Actually look in the verses yourself. First one I'm going to show you is John chapter 19, verse 11. Uh, this is, you know, Jesus at the crucifixion, uh, or, or prior to being crucified. Uh, it says, Jesus answered, Thou couldest have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from, or given thee from above. Therefore hath or he that, sorry, therefore he that delivered me unto thee hath the greater sin. Hmm, greater sin. So if all sin is equal, how is there a greater sin? And a good way to kick this thing of all sin being equal is, in regards to this thing of being a greater sin, in the Old Testament, certain sins were given a death penalty. Other sins were just given a fine or you had to go through a beating or that kind of stuff. So there were greater sins because certain sins would have varying degrees of punishment. But Jesus says right there, uh, He that delivered me or me unto thee hath a greater sin. There is varying degrees of sin. Uh, what about this thing of there being a greater damnation? Let me show you that. Matthew chapter 23, in my notes, 23 verse 14 says... This is, again, Jesus speaking. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for pre pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. So not only is there a greater sin, there's a greater damnation too. Very, very interesting. Now what about this thing of, of the, the best way to kick this thing of all sin being equal is the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. Because uh, again, it proves this thing there's varying degrees of sin. And you can prove someone can have a greater sin than the other. Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Again, Jesus speaking. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. You can go to verse 32 as well. Whos and whosoever speaketh the word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. Whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world or, in, or neither in the world to come. So again, it goes back to this thing of, of, is all sin equal or are there varying degrees of sin? Right here, all sin is forgiven, but if you blaspheme the Holy Ghost, it won't be forgiven. Now, I do believe this is not dispensationally for us today. I do believe it's for a future dispensation. Um, but again, it does prove this thing of there's, there are varying degrees. And certain sins, you, could, you couldn't be forgiven. If you blaspheme the Holy Ghost as a lost person, uh, you couldn't be forgiven. You know, I see this thing, of, uh, I saw something about Richard Dawkins telling his followers to blaspheme the Holy Ghost and damn themselves to hell. Yeah, well, they're going to do that. You know, It'll be the biggest mistake they've made, but they can do that. Um, and again, I do believe this is for a different dispensation, uh, because the Gospels are written to Jews. But again, what's this thing, of it, how can all sin be equal if there are certain sins where you couldn't be forgiven? Blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. If it's all equal, then why, why can that be forgiven too? doesn't make sense because all sin is not equal. And again, it goes back to this thing of why were there different punishments for sin in the Old Testament? Some sins would get you the death penalty. Others would, would get you like beatings or a fine or whatever. Because uh, stealing a pencil and murdering somebody are not the same. They're not equally as bad. You know, I mean, someone like Adolf Hitler and, and maybe your average, you know, I don't know, serial killer. Yeah, they're both in hell, but who, who, is, who is receiving a greater damnation? It would be Adolf Hitler over the, you know, your, your, like Ted Bundy, for example. Because who murdered more people? You know, someone like Joseph Stalin and, uh, i trying to think, uh, Joseph Stalin and uh, Judas, for example. I mean, they're both in hell, obviously. But who do you think is having a greater damnation? It'd be Joseph Stalin, because he murdered millions of people. So there is a varying degree of sin, and likewise, there's a varying degree of punishment. So... I want to get that out there and just kick this thing of all sin being equal. It's not biblical. It's it's not. And what it does is that it simply lowers the righteousness of God to where people are thinking, well, so according, so they, it get. I'll put it this way. It gets them thinking that, so stealing a pencil or stealing a candy bar is just as bad as murdering, you know, that kind of stuff. Or if I commit fornication or sodomy or, or miscegenation or whatever, that's just as bad as, you know, lying, for example. Uh, they're all, they're, they're all sin, obviously, but there is varying degrees. Certain sins are worse than others. So, uh, God bless you. Um, sorry, this wasn't really scripted, but God bless you. Goodbye.